One of the biggest unanswered questions surrounding Bitcoin is who invented it? Many have claimed the pseudonym Satoshi Nakamoto, inventor of the virtual currency, only to have their claims dismissed. Now Australian businessman Craig Wright says he is the inventor of Bitcoin and his claim has some support, but that is depending on who you ask. Our own Bitcoin expert Paul Vigna, a WSJ Money Beat reporter and co-author of The Age of Cryptocurrency, joins us now. Hi, Paul. Great to Hi, see you. Hi, Tanya. How are you? So, Craig Wright Crazy morning. says he's the guy. Does he have any proof? Craig Wright says he is the guy. Craig Wright has some proof. Uh, the question now is how solid is his proof? Mm -hmm. So that, that's where we are. That's where we so are. So over, overnight our time, it was during the day in Australia, uh, he comes forward. He, has, uh, he now has a website. He gave a story to BBC, Economist, and GQ. He had been named a couple of months ago as Nakamoto. Back then, the story was debunked. It kind of went away. Now he is back out saying that he is. He Why is do you creator. think he would come forward now? What's in it for him if indeed he is? Well, the that's a big question, and and, and that's an unanswered question. Mm -hmm. Why come forward now? Uh, Satoshi Nakamoto has been a person who was extremely, extremely private who hid his identity to a point where nobody, I mean, everyone in the world was looking for this guy, nobody could find him. So why would you go from being that kind of a hyper private person to now being a very, very public person? I mean, right. it, it's one thing to you know get outed. He's not being outed. He is coming out himself and saying, I I'm Nakamoto. So th that's a big unanswered question. Does he have anything to gain financially from this move? Well, I mean, the real Nakamoto, yeah. who was the first person on the network because he created it, mined a lot of the early Bitcoin, has a, a stash that is worth about $450 million. Wow. So if he, is not, if he is Nakamoto, he should actually have that. The question is, can you move it? Will you move it? What will you do with it? Mm -hmm. You know, you can't just have that money sitting around and then move it and not have it be noticed. Absolutely. So if maybe he he's planning, thinking of moving it. Maybe he's thinking of moving it. Maybe he's planning on doing something with it, and he can't do that without being noticed, so he had to come out. We should point out that Gavin Andreessen, who used to be the chief scientist at the Bitcoin Foundation, right. wrote in a blog post, after spending time with him, I am convinced beyond a reasonable doubt Craig Wright is Satoshi. Right, and Gavin was at this conference this morning here in New York City, and reiterated that statement. He's a very important person. He's one of the core developers in Bitcoin. He was the last person to talk to Nakamoto, not publicly, but the last person to talk to Nakamoto before Nakamoto went off the scene. His voice matters. So for saying, him to say that carries a lot of weight. For him to say that carries a lot of weight. Despite that, yeah. uh, there is a tremendous amount of skepticism about whether or not Craig Wright really is Satoshi. Speaking Nakamoto. of skepticism, Peter Todd, a Bitcoin developer, says it was if if this was real, Mr. Wright would have signed a message with the private key from the first Bitcoin block mined. Anything else smells like a scam. Right. What what does that mean exactly to those of us who aren't so familiar? That means that the person who created the, the network, who did the first transaction, has the, the key to that transaction, should be able to use that key in a public manner right. to prove cryptographically that he has, if he has control of it, it's a very good likelihood that he's Nakamoto. Right. So that's what they want to see. They, they want to see, see you. They want to see you do something with that transaction. So where does this go from here? Is it true that he faces some kind of inquiry from Australian well, tax? Yes, and we haven't had anybody from the tax authority over there comment on what okay. it is. He is saying that it is not, he, he's not under any kind of real investigation. It is just a question of how Bitcoin gets taxed in Australia. I see. They did raid his house, though, in December. So There's something you have to wonder on. what's going on there. Right. So right. Th that's a question. What do the tax authorities want with him? Why are they interested in him? That's a question. Where it goes from here, though, is he, to convince the community, certainly, he is going to have to give more proof. He is going to have to give some proof. The problem is that everything he has done publicly so far, in some way, could be forged, could be replicated, could be backdated. He hasn't shown anything publicly that, without a doubt, could not come from anybody but 
the actual creator of Bitcoin. So That key, perhaps. That key. So what yeah. he's going to have to do is he's going to have to provide more evidence. He's going to have to give a good reason for why he was so private before and why he is coming out so publicly now. You know, the, the, the personality has to match. That's a big deal yeah. for who Nakamoto is. In this community, privacy is paramount. It is very, very important. So... If you're a very private person then, why are you so public? He has to come out with a good reason for why he is doing this now. Then he has to provide more proof that will really kind of show it. And it's, it's like anything, it's going to be a court of a public opinion. It is going to be a process. So A lot of unanswered questions still at this questions. point. Right. Paul Vigna, thank you so much Absolutely. for that. Absolutely. Happy to be here.